today at Gadget Class, I'm reviewing a USB 3.0 Super Slim slot in DVD Rider Drive. Um, these are actually sold by a company called Do Honest on Amazon, and I'll put a link down in the video description below. These are compatible with pretty much the entire range of computers, all the way back to uh, you know like Windows XP, all the way up to Windows 10. On the MacBook side, uh, pretty much anything that is USB compatible, including the MacBook Air. Uh, any MacBook it'll work with. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go straight from uh, the unboxing to an audio CD completed and playing on this video here. It is a super slim slot in. That means that you just stick the CD in the slot and it sucks it in and automatically starts playing it. Kind of like a car CD player. It is made of plastic but it does have a uh, luminized look to it to uh, match the MacBook look. Let's go ahead and plug it in and let Windows install some drivers and uh, then we'll create an audio CD. And there it is, it's already uh, set up. And I was playing around with the audio CD I wanted to create before, so let's go ahead and stick in a DV, uh, this is actually a CDR. Stick that in the slot there. And we'll go ahead and burn these. These are uh, Ben Sounds, royalty free music from bensound.com. Um, I hate it when YouTube flagged my videos for having uh, copyrighted content. So, you got a result to royalty free music. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, burn this disc. Let's call it Ben Sound. Uh, I hate iTunes. We'll go ahead and uh, burn it at max speed there. 24x. And this will be an audio CD. I love the way uh, Windows is kind of using all their different apps to do everything nowadays. Before you could just drag the files over, start the burn with uh, Windows File Explorer. Now it wants to bring up uh, Windows Media Player to complete the burn. And then iTunes wants to take over too. iTunes wants to do the burn for you. Sometimes I miss the simple days. And there we go. It is finished and ejected. We'll go ahead and uh, close Windows Media Player here and reinsert the audio disk. And I think I have uh, Windows Media Player disabled for autoplay, so we'll just play it manually here. And there we go. One audio CD ready to go. So all the songs have burned and they all seem to be seekable and perfectly readable. So it burned pretty quick, um, that, that was only uh, 
eight different songs there, but uh, almost a full-length CD, and it was pretty quick at 24x. Um, I do not find any issues with this. Uh, if I do find some issues, I'll come back and update the review. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 5 out of 5. And uh, it is going for about 36 bucks on Amazon right now. Um, I'll put a link to that down in the video description below. Make sure you hit the yes for found this review helpful. Hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.